she can't uh, turn around and say, oh, because I'm a, uh, because he's a high profile sportsman and, uh, I'm a female, you know, you can't use that, you know what I mean? Like, if you're in a managerial position and you're, and, uh, and you, you gotta uh, be like that, you know what I mean? Like, you can't be two people, you can't be a person that wants to give him flack. Um, do you know what I'm saying? Right, I know what you're saying. Right. But at the same time, yeah, it was, right. it's really like, like we were just talking about, um, it's, people can see a picture and they can paint a thousand words. They can say he was harassing her all night. Uh, they can say he was like trying to solicit sex from her, which was far from the truth. But <laughs> yeah, yeah. you could make a thousand different stories off one photograph. But being there, yeah, that's right. the look of it, didn't look right. You know, we can't hear any dialogue because it's so loud in there. The crowd was getting excited. Yeah. And just like, that's wrong, Floyd, because they can't hear what's going on. They're just looking at the action on the side of the ring. But it's really yeah. it really was nothing. It really was a whole bunch yeah. of nothing. It was loud. But like, after the fight, it was something to just keep the fight and the talk and the fighter's name out there longer than, um, yeah. than it probably should have been. Yeah, like, uh, I don't think that just because you're male or female, that's make a difference, really. You know, uh, like I said, she's in a managerial position, too. She has to behave like a manager, you know, and so if she's giving him slack, then yeah, but he see, has that right was at to defend the presser. Him. This is That's at the presser. This is the fight now. See, at the fight, she didn't say anything. See, at the fight, you don't normally see that. When you're at a fight, like, all the promotional stuff is over. It's the fight time. So everybody normally sits in their chair and they don't do anything. But this was like a Mayweather show. Yeah. You know, Floyd was, yeah. he was, uh, mic'd up. You know, Showtime was happy. They just got him. So it was like, we're going to display yeah, yeah. anything you want, Floyd. <laughs> it's yeah, your yeah, show yeah. tonight. Yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> so. They're not, they're not gonna, they're not gonna do anything. You know, nah, but, um, but yeah. Anyway, yeah, but it's all about money at the end of the day, really, isn't it? You know, like, so, uh, and it doesn't matter what. If you look at what Adrian Brown has been doing in the last week, it doesn't really matter oh, what they yeah. do, as long as they, as long as long as they do something. You know, if they don't do anything, then that's when that's when people go to someone else, because the supporters of the sport, the, the sport. Uh, they're just looking for something else to keep them afloat, basically, every day. I mean, looking, you know, and, and not to cut you off, but looking and yeah. giving somebody something is a whole different story. Adrian Bronner is giving them the ammunition. He's he's like, here's the bullets. Put it right in the gun. I'm like, what yeah. is you doing? I mean, it's been less than two weeks. In less than two weeks, this is what he's done. Yeah. He's been arrested for battery. He's yeah. thrown away fifteen thousand dollars to a stripper and went down on a stripper. He's yeah. tearing up money and flushing it down a toilet. Yeah, I just watched that video. And tearing up money and flushing it down a toilet. What kind of yeah, promotion I wasn't is that? that? I wasn't a big fan of that one because I wasn't a fan of that um, at all. I mean, I don't see the point. The thing, the thing is that Floyd sets the, gu- the Floyd sets a guideline. This is the problem here. Floyd sets a guideline. When he's burning money, he sets a precedent. And I think Adrian Broner is trying to take that to a new level. The, the thing I is, I was that against the Floyd burning the money. It doesn't make thing. you feel good. It doesn't make it. It doesn't make you feel good. You know, and especially when you have to go to work every single day to work for that money, and then you see him put it down the toilet and flush it. You know, like. Exactly. Especially, but yeah. Floyd thing was he was promoting the song that was playing. But I don't know if that was a real dollar bill, hundred dollar bill or not that he burnt. But they were it was a song called I Got Money to Burn. So there was a promotion yeah. was playing for it in the club and he burnt the bill. Yeah. But the song was called yeah. Money to Burn that they had out yeah. there some rap song called Money to Burn. So they were promoting the song, and that's yeah. why they burnt the money. I got money to burn. But I don't even know if that was yeah. a real deal that he burnt. Like I'm saying, maybe yeah, this yeah, isn't yeah. real money that he tore up. I just have a hard time dealing with the fact that yeah. somebody who comes from poverty would tear up money. 
Yeah, because he's he's trying to put himself on that 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 stage. Do you know what I mean? He's trying. That's that's not he says put you on the stage you want to be at. I know that. I know that. I know that. The thing is that it's a different time and era. Like when Floyd did that, he didn't have social media. See, Adrian Broner needs to cater to social media. That's the problem that he's got right now. He's not catering to social media. What he's doing is actually putting himself out there because social media puts you out there enough. You don't need to have things like that. When Floyd did that, it was at a time when you needed to get the headlines because you didn't have as much social media. But now it's everywhere. You know, and Broner doesn't need to do that. He's just doing it because Floyd did it, you know, and he sees the path. He's just following the path. Floyd. Floyd. I just think that's his personality. I just think that's his personality. I think it's no, he's, he's his no, he, uh, he's a good kid. I, I've seen some videos of him going to the hospital and stuff like that. He's, yeah, he's I, got good intentions. Yeah, I, he's got good intentions, but he's actually portraying himself out to be the bad guy so he can sell tickets. That's all he's doing. I he's not that, that bad person. I that too. Yeah. But I don't, I really don't think that, I think that's part of his persona. You know, he was a slab, he's a rap artist too. So you gotta look at it. He's a rapper. And he's a boxer. He's basically an entertainer. So he wants to entertain people. So that's why I say this is part of his personality more than it is a Mayweather thing. Mayweather's really not what everybody think he is. Like he's playing boy. If he shows up to these clubs, he's getting paid to be there. <laughs> that's yeah, the that's thing true. with him. He's being paid for an appearance. That's why he's even yeah. showing up. And then he doesn't really do anything when he's there. He just shows up, make his appearance. Sit in VIP, shake some hands. He doesn't drink. He doesn't smoke. So he doesn't even yeah, consume true. any of these things. He's just there to get his money and make his appearances. That's why he does about 30 cities, 40 cities a day in very popular areas of the urban market. Mm. So when it, when he fights in the pay-per-view, it keeps his name out there yeah. when he's not boxing and he's getting paid for it. So it's good advertising, yeah. money team movement. His thing, you know, yeah. what he's got going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, it's all part of the promotional yeah, trend that you it's have. It's all promotion for him. But Adrian Bronner, yeah. Bronner is looking at it as a whole different thing to putting himself out there. He's building his own name up. He's not waiting for Al Heyman to come up with a plan. He's got his own plan. And what Adrian Bronner's yeah. going to do is what Adrian Bronner wants to do. This is all his personality. Yeah. You know, yeah, that's um, just him. I don't think he's following behind Floyd at all. I, I just posted a video on my website about um, with Adrian Broner. He had his baby, and he's talking about Brandon Rios and uh, Paulie Malinaji.